One of the most interesting questions on a Doppler effect I've came across that is 6.1.2, right? Uh, so let's look at 6.1.1. You just need to state the definition of Doppler effect in once, right? I'm sure you can do that. Let's look at 6.1.2, the interesting question. So the question is saying a car moves at a constant velocity of 22 meters per second on a straight horizontal road towards a stationary device, which can both emit and detect sound waves. The device emits sound waves with a frequency of 24,000 hertz. All right. And then these sound waves are reflected of the car and the reflected sound waves are then detected by the device as shown in the diagram below. Uh, we can see what is happening there. And then if the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second, let's calculate the frequency of the reflected sound waves detected by the device. So let's do a bit of conceptualization here. So let's put uh, X as our vehicle and put um, our device somewhere here. So the first thing that is going to happen, our device is emitting a sound wave, right? So let's just denote that. So we have some frequency of source. And then when it strikes the car, it's no longer FS. We now have FL, right? Is going to uh, experience, is going to detect a totally different frequency. And then from that frequency it detects, it's now going to reflect it and send it back to the device. So now we have this frequency being reflected back to the device. And then now we have FL2. So you can use this FS here to find FL. And then when you find that FL, it now becomes your FS that the device is going to detect. Am I making any sense? Let me let me show you what's going on. Let me show you what's going on. So for the first part, we have the frequency of the listener being equals to V plus or minus uh, the velocity of the listener divided by V plus or minus the velocity of the source multiplied by the frequency emitted by the sound source, right? So the frequency observed by the listener or the frequency that strikes our vehicle, it will be close to 340. And then our listener or our vehicle is moving towards the device, right? So we're supposed to have plus uh, the velocity of our listener, which is uh, 22 meters per second. And then we can divide everything by 340 plus or minus the velocity of the device, which is zero, right? It is stationary. And then we can multiply that uh, by the frequency emitted by our device, which is 24,000, right? So let me just uh, compute that real quick. So I have 340 plus 22 divided by 340, essentially multiplied by 24,000. And I'm getting 25,000. 552.94 hertz. So this is the frequency that strikes our car. This is the frequency that strikes our car. And now this frequency is reflected back to the device SFS, right? This frequency now becomes our FS is reflected back to our device. Uh, so what am I saying? We say that now we're going to have FL being equals to V plus or minus VL divided by V plus or minus VS multiplied by the frequency emitted by the source. So what is FL? FL is what we're looking for. The frequency uh, that is detected by the device right after it has been reflected. Right. That will be equals to 340. And then now our listener is the device. We know that it is stationary. So we're going to have plus or minus zero divided by 340. And then now our sound source is moving towards. It is the car, right? So we're going to have 340 minus 22 multiplied by the frequency of the source, which is what we calculated here, 25,552.94 hertz. That is 
the frequency that is being reflected by the car. This is the trick of the question. As soon as you can wrap your head around the concept, then you're essentially done. So multiply it by uh, 25,000. 552.94 hertz. I'm getting uh, 27,320.75 hertz. Right, so that is the frequency of the reflected sound waves detected by the device. Right, and the last question, uh, 6.2. Uh, the spectral lines observed for a distant star show that the star is moving away from earth explain by referring to frequency how one can deduce that the star is moving away from the earth so here i'm you know much interested in how you guys answer this question so can you please just let me know in the comment section